This is <clears throat> the album Third Word Child from um, 1987 seven, with Johnny Clegg and Savuka. Yeah. Uh, and in number five, we find Johnny Clegg. When it comes to political rock, I think nobody has done it better than the white South African singer, multi-instrumentalist, songwriter and anthropologist Johnny Clegg. I first heard about him in the late 1980s when apartheid ruled over uh, South Africa and my interest in South African music was growing rapidly after hearing Paul Simon's Graceland. <clears throat> Apparently Johnny Clegg was consulted when um, uh, Paul Simon wanted to get more knowledge about South African bands and uh, that must have been a very vo uh, very wise choice since uh, Johnny Clegg was a veteran in South African music even back then. He sometimes referred to as uh, Le Zulu Blanc, the White Zulu, um, since he likes mixing Zulu with uh, English lyrics and African music styles with Western music styles. Uh, Clegg was born and brought up in England, uh, if I understand this correctly. But as a teenager, he formed the racially mixed pop group in South Africa, Juluka, together with uh, Sifo Mushunu. Not sure about the pronunciation there, sorry. That was quite daring uh, for a teenager back then, since it was highly illegal for racially mixed bands <coughs> to um, perform in South Africa during the apartheid era. And it was even more daring, since the lyrics often criticized the system. So Clegg and the other members of the band were arrested many times and concerts were often stops, stopped by authorities. After Juluka had disbanded, because Sifo wanted to do other stuff. Uh, the group Savuka made this album. Uh, that was also racially mixed, was formed, and their album started to be, no be noticed in the rest of the world as well, especially uh, after the racing, uh, rising interest in South Africa, i.e. the Graceland effect. Well, particularly in France, uh, his album sold very well. I read a funny piece of trivia on uh, Wikipedia when reading up uh, before this video, uh, <laughs> that when Savuka played in Lyon in France, uh, Michael Jackson had a show there, uh, show there at, uh, at the same time, but Michael uh, Jackson attracted a smaller audience and had to cancel. And a newspaper headline in France said, white man singing black music outsells black man singing white music. Anyway, John Clegg is still active, even though I haven't heard that much of his music after 1997. But I think one of the main reasons why John Clegg has managed to climb up to fifth place is that he both shows uh, that all the words people in all different colors can make good music together, just as well as live together, and that music becomes more interesting the more you try to blend different genres and styles and influences. So, number five, Johnny Clegg. <laughs> 